All right, you are still watching Ways on the 17th of November 2015. The United Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, declared 28th of September as International Day for Universal Access to Information. Universal Access to Information means that everyone has the right to seek, receive, and impact information. Now, access to information is more and more recognized as a prerequisite for sustainable development for um, claiming human rights. I mean, anyone that knows me um, know that I am a sucker for information. Uh, I believe that when people are well informed, we make the world a better place, healthier decisions will be made, so mm -hmm. many things would happen when you are informed in know. you know so mm -hmm. all you need to do and this is why it breaks my heart every time that we're discussing issues around um asu or it, the dilapidated state of our education not because i just feel like antagonizing or attacking the government but because i understand how powerful one information can impact a life now not think about millions of lives <coughs> with the mm -hmm. right information it means you're equipped you have the right tool to then take informed decisions, decisions, do things, empower yourself, you know, and grow, right? So, I mean, anybody that knows information is power. Absolutely. You know, it is power. So for every time there's an opportunity to give people access to information, yes. we should not be found wanting. Yeah. Information is power. Anybody that is in, enlightened or has information Correct. can make the right kind of decisions, Correct. Mm -hmm. can make pro progress. Because then the Washington had an issue with the press some time ago. I said it's not so much having content for the sake of content. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's correct news. Absolutely. Unfortunately. Instance, like the news that we had today that they said it was one thing unfortunately, and then we find like it they, another. Yes, unfortunately mm. we can't control all of the information that, that goes out. out. Yes. But you being able to know what is right and what is wrong. I'm not being in a hurry because and in today's age where we have people, they don't even cross check information. Mm. You just see it and people are and forwarding all kinds like of information. So you need to make sure or mm. ensure that your information is right. Like, be like aware. you said, Absolutely. be very aware. All sure. right, so who are we starting with? Who is ready? I'm not ready. <laughs> okay. I'm in Go ahead. I have uh, an interesting information about immigration. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and the, the immigration urges, Nigerian immigration urges applicants to claim 29,095 uncollected passports. So the information has, and I'm just reading it as it is. Mm -hmm. The passport control officer, Ikri, deputy controller of immigration, <coughs> O.O. Ayebusi, has revealed that not less than 29,095 passports remain uncollected at the passport office and urging applicants to come for collection. The PCO spoke with you know, with the news, the, with the press saying that passports of applicants who had applied before July were available for collection. And he noted that um, they had cleared a backlog from 2021 and have produced an average of 500 passports daily. So he also added that um, they've produced about 19,200 passports in two months. And he's explaining that the the passports, uh, I think the one with 32 pages, they've, mm. they've produced about 8,152 and 62 pages, 1,339 between August and September. But that the passports have remained uncollected and um, this will make their work he even like more co cumbersome. No, it's important. They're trying to give you the they information claim. that they are working. Right, they even claim. though people are still, because personally, you we have, no, of we have course, passports matter now. Personally, we've had so experiences in a, in a country of over 200 million people, they are complaining that about 500 daily. The people that came to you that said they have urgent need, mm. why didn't you attend to them with the same? Work? Well, they want to let us know that they are, they are working. working, and that even if people claim that they are not working, they have these things ready, and people should come and collect. Yeah, I told you, boss of them said that he wants us to actually start talking about the passport issues on mm -hmm. air till we get adequate information or somebody being accountable. 
for the reason why things are not flowing as fast as they should. I think one of the mess, uh, the information that he shared mm -hmm. being the reason why is that they have third party um, people who are supposed to be sending messages, text messages out mm -hmm. to people, but it seems that the information is not reaching people um, as well. Database issues, mm -hmm. I keep saying. Why did you story, please? My story in uh, Iyami Oshorongamata. Police officers land in trouble, offer sacrifice for arresting spiritual traditional dramas in Lagos states. Now, there's really not much written about it, but the point I wanted to ask is, when answers was happening, why didn't these people come out and come and use the metaphysical powers that they are trying to pretend? They are just acting a play, as far as I'm concerned. I don't know who White Cloth wants to scare in this day and age. Or the government that has not been making things right for us. Why you not know, gather yourselves together and shake away for them? <laughs> yeah, parade the police station. And then, you <laughs> sure you understand? Mm. Everything is just dull today for me. I don't even know what it is. It is well with you. Let me share with my soul. Let me take my story. <laughs> so mine is rather very troubling, I must say, mm. because I saw this story and I thought, hmm, what exactly is going on, right? Um, according to the reports, right, um, the Attorney General of the Federation has come out to say why they burnt, because I saw that video yesterday mm. where they were burning the cocaine that they claimed mm. to have seized, mm. right? It says, so he has come out to explain why we burnt 194 billion worth of cocaine. Mm. Now, it says the federal government on Wednesday said that the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency incinerated the 194 worth of, um, billion worth of cocaine it seized from a drug racket because it is not a drug dealer. Mm. Therefore, the substance had no economic value to it. Mm. Attorney General of the Federation, Minister of Justice, Abuaka Malami, explained this to the State House correspondent shortly after the weekly council meeting chaired by the President, Major uh, Muhammad Buhari, now retired. Now, Malami argued that although a small portion of the substance was retained as court evidence, the majority was set ablaze because the government could not find any legal use for it. In Question. what was mm. yes, in what has been adjudged as the highest though, singular cocaine seizure in the end in the history of the 32 years of NDLA mm. since inception of NDLA, right? They seized about 1855 kilograms of cocaine that is worth 194 billion and only arrested five persons in link to this seizure. I do not believe the federal it's government is now coming to explain. So I now had to send a message to a lawyer friend of mine. I say, I beg, is it that I'm stupid or I'm dumb? In other climbs, this is something that has never happened in history. Destruction you of evidence. You destroy an evidence and you're claiming you have no use for it. The drugs that medical doctors, the only, people that, the only people that are authorized to travel with some uh, quantity of cocaine are medical doctors because some drugs co contain cocaine in it. So you cannot tell me that yeah, cocaine is no not use useful. For that. Do you understand? So two cocaine. things for me. Mm. There's something fishy. It's either they are trying to protect the real drug baron, drug baron. or yeah, there was nothing, that? there was no such thing as that quantity of cocaine. Because there's absolutely no reason for you to destroy evidence. And you not come out to tell me that it, you had no legal use for this. It had no economic value. Oga ha beg. I We're beg. not stupid. I beg Ah. Let me put in some two cents or two cobble on the 192 billion that they said they have. You see something that God created. It has a use, at least in this world. Someone is using it for something legal. The quantity that you have, if you dismiss it in the proper channels, there's drugs, like you said, there's medicine in this world that contains some substance of cooking. Of course. You of could course. have made Thank it legal. Most of those, yeah. Made it legal and make it income for us. May, then again, this just happened a few days ago. That's what destroyed the world. So how are you, why is, are we quick to pass judgment Thank on you. things like this? But there are other things, pressing that issues don't take that take on. forever. That even, that's for why I'm to, saying that. I told so you that the documents um, that have to do with this case, the building will burn very soon. You it's know, not because it, it makes no sense. Why in a hurry? Why do you need to destroy evidence so quickly? These are the things covering that really tracks. make 
Nigerians not trust the government because no your intentions questions. begin to look as if Shady. you are not transparent. No, in the this one doing. Doing. begin to look. It no, is they, they are not. clearly uh, not because every, everywhere in the world, when you seize an evidence like that, it is it case. Case is the first one. Yes, it's it, never it, destroyed. The, the case is still ongoing in the first place, and you've destroyed it. On that note, we take a break. Already. <laughs> mm.